Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about software developers and what they get. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, what is it that computer programmers and software engineers and developers just get, quote unquote, that most people don't? Well, it is the thing that makes them software developers or whatever you want to call them. Usually the thing that software developers do better than most is that they they know how to solve problems. It's that simple. It sounds very silly but it is really the thing that they do better than anybody else. And the reason why I say that is because some people who, I mean everybody, if you ask like literally anybody in middle management or sales or like whatever, every single person in some way will say things like, well, I know how to solve problems. Yes, you do, but the thing that a software developer does, which is a lot usually more difficult than what other people mean when they say that they're good at solving problems, is that the literal job of a software developer is to understand a person or a process or something that is going on to the point where they can create a code abstraction or something like that. They can create a system that solves that problem. And that is not in the job specification of, the mo of most people. It's very rare, in fact, that I find that anybody you talk to has any idea of how to solve issues within the IT space like they don't they can because of course I mean if if it's code it's very difficult for you to understand what's going on in a similar way for me as a software developer I don't really know what type of medicine is out there in in the world and what type of uh, things one might need to know in order to cure certain illnesses or things like that but in, in a sense, I would want to go one further, and I would say that this is the trademark of an engineer. Any engineer, doesn't matter who it really is. Really good, like the essence of engineering is to make solutions to problems. And that is the thing that they, that's, make, that's what, you ma what makes you an engineer. You can be many types of engineers, but fundamentally that is the... That's the long and the short of it, and software developers are no exceptions. It's just that for a mechanical engineer, as an example, well, you 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 have a set of tools, and the problems that you are solving are usually in the area, in an area where those tools are relevant. I mean, the true like the engineers who know like all these sorts of things, right? And so forth and so forth. They're usually very broad, but the software developer, it's it's the same sort of thing, right? It is at the end of the day just a problem. It, it, it's a problem-solving person who has sc skills with 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 coding, and those skills are usually applicable to a lot of the problems that they face. And as I said, mo most people don't actually know how to do any of this sort of stuff. Like I work with people, guys, where most of my day it really is most of my day is to sit and talk to people who can explain the, their job to me they can explain to me what, what problems they have and you know they can explain what could be better etc etc but the the what could be better part is usually very tricky for a lot of them and many of them have no idea how to actually work in a more effective manner and I also work with some people, and I mean, I'm sad to say that some of them are actually are actually made it into software development as well. And they usually don't survive very long as software developers. And these are the people who, when they face a problem or they something is difficult or not so, not fully comprehensible to them, they just kind of go, "Well, I don't know how this works," and then they sit down. That's not an engineer, but that's not a software developer. It's not a person who can solve problems because a problem solver understands that when you have an issue, the first thing is to try to figure out, okay, how does this thing work? You start poking it a little bit with a stick, you do some research, you try to figure out different approaches, and then it's sort of like a, it's really like a knot in a sense. If you think about like a piece of string or something, there's a knot on the string. And the first thing a problem solver does is to just look at it 
and see and trace the string through it and see okay which point is most important for me to start pulling on so I can untie this thing so it can be just a straight um, straight string again right that is the thing that software developers in my opinion at the very least do better than practically and than most people with the exception of like these as I said uh, other engineers uh, or people who are actually in the space they are in the business of inventing solutions to other people's problems. So what I want you to take away from this is that what programmers, software engineers and developers all get, quote unquote, uh, that others don't is to, well, they understand how to solve problems. They are the people who don't may not know something, but they're smart enough to figure out how to get answers to the, to the questions. Then usually when they're really good at this stuff, they get to a point where they seamlessly understand other people's like difficulties they it's there's a lot of actually there's a lot of that guys in my line of work where you sit and talk to stakeholders so you go to meetings with them and then you just listen to the customer explain okay we're trying to do this so we want to do that or we have this really really bad issue and then you raise your hand and you just mention maybe you could do it this way or that way and see what the customer says and usually if you're good at this sort of stuff they sort of start going oh could you do it that way or yeah that would be pretty cool could we try it and so forth and so forth and then you're off and now all of a sudden you're now inventing a solution to their problem and this is the thing that I think is I mean this is me injecting myself a little bit here but I think that this thing is one of the most noble things that you noble undertakings there are, there is. It's the same thing most engineers are doing. It's the same thing you know scientists in their own way and like these sorts of people who are trying to trying to solve problems for a living and trying to make things better. The entrepreneurship and like all of this sort of stuff. This is the root of it. Understand somebody else's pain or the frustration or like listen like figure and look at something that isn't working all that well and kind of go okay if I try to make this better where would I start and then you start following the the string through the knot until you find a, a point where you can start pulling on it and see if you can undo the whole problem have a great day